Hello everyone. Welcome to a new LP again. Woohoo! It's another cryo game. Not Dune, but definitely a game they did uh, not long after Dune. It's a pretty cool old game. Uh, not very long, but hopefully you guys enjoy it. My Lost name Eden. is Eloy, and I am old. These days, I'm content to look out at the world from high and white enough. arch. But, when I was younger, I traveled the world and saw many great wonders. And of all the tales I could tell, none is more wonderful than that of Adam, Prince of Moore. Little backstory. Beautiful graphics for the time, free renders. Hmm. And all speech. Very, very cool. Love the music in this game too. <laughs> oh, it's just the classic gaming experience from my childhood, I guess. Which is my preteen years, I guess. Ah! In those times, the tyrant were once again on the rampage. Thirsty for blood and carnage, their leader was the dreaded Marcus Rex. The years of uneasy peace had come to an end. Not very nice, guys. that had once united humans and dinosaurs was lost, and none could stem the pitiless tide that swept down from the north. So I think this is a uh, really underrated game. It's definitely more of an adventure game than uh, Dune really was, but I enjoyed it. It has a little more puzzles aspect to it. It's, it's just a lot more adventure. There is a little bit of strategy elements, but not as much as there was in here. Unfortunately, this game didn't do that well in the market. Um, it was competing with a lot of big titles in all at the time. The lands, there was but one place of safety. The Citadel at Mo, in the Kingdom of Mashar. What sticks with me the most of this game is the music. Oh. Gregor, Adam's father, brooded within the castle's massive walls. Moving the window, sorry about that. More unable to see that Marcus Rex would never stop until the whole world lay bleeding at his feet. It's me! Welcome to Let's Play Lost Eden. Again, this isn't exactly a hugely long game. Uh, it's probably almost the same length as Dune, I think. I haven't played this in quite a while, uh, so can't quite remember. Pre-rendered graphics were still very new at this time. Uh, as you can definitely tell. But they were a really good alternative. They didn't really come into their own until Mist, of course, which actually came out not long after this, if memory My serves. My story begins on the very day Prince Adam came of age. I had just arrived at Mo with grave news from the north. So welcome to Lost Eden. Dude, love the music. So this is your interface, pretty simple. Has those little aspects of Dune that you'll see. Obviously this is the way I see myself. This is also where I'll see my party members. So they'll also appear up here. Putting on my 
itself brings up the menu. We may be able to defeat Morcus Rex after all. As you can see, it's the mixer. I'm gonna bring the music down just a little. Okay, overall speech. Pretty high. We may be able to defeat Morcus that Rex after all. Me. Hopefully that works for you guys. I actually bought this game off uh, Amazon. I found it there pretty cheap out there. It's not that expensive, the CD version. So if you guys want to get a hold of it, that's a good way to do it. Otherwise, it's very hard to get a hold of. Um, so here he goes, all the slaves. It's like I said, very different, but it works out quite nice. Interface is pretty simple. It's not horribly a bad thing, I think. But that's my opinion. If you guys feel like this has a missed feel, it kind of does. But it's not. It, there's actually a story here. Here. Adam, counselor, monk, look for you. King want you in the throne room. Ah, it's the bright spot of the Citadel Mo. Mr. Memo. <laughs> Adam, not leave. King orders. Ah, King. Thank you, Thug, for that wonderful uh, dose of reality. Adam not leave. Yes, I heard you King the first time. Adam not leave. King Order. This is the problem I have. I can never Bugger remember how to King. get out of a conversation. I think I just did escape. No. I'm sorry, guys. Like I said, I haven't played this in a while. I'm supposed to be able to go. Ugh. Ugh, really? Adam, not. Oh, God. See, some that gets confusing sometimes. So, in case you missed that, Adam. just click over here out of him. Ugh. Sorry about that, guys. Let's move on. Anything underground. Deep into the citadel. First big room. Three ways to go. This leads to the throne room. This leads elsewhere. That's the side entrance or back entrance or something. I can't recall. We'll go ahead and go to the king. We'll be a good boy. Now there is a little side entrance there that you saw. We'll get back to that. Here's a couple more. That goes to the throne room. This is a room. This is another room. Let's take a quick look in here. I believe this is your room, if I remember correctly. There's not a lot to see here. It's my room, man. Got a bear carpet and everything. Alright, let's see what the king wants, my daddy. Yes, dad. Ah, Prince Adam! It's a great honor to meet you! Yeah, 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 yeah. Get to the point. Adam, my son, I asked old monk to send you here. I fear this day of your coming of age will not be the joyous occasion we Dad, have planned. Dad, trim the this beard! This is Eloy, and he <laughs> brings grave news from the north. I think we got Eloy. the intro. My lords, 
The city of Shamar has been attacked and destroyed by the tyrant. The humans there have been slaughtered and taken for food. There are few survivors. Oops. Shamar destroyed. It seems Morcus Rex and his Tyran hordes will not rest until the you whole think world that has been I think they've been telling you that for a while. And ashes. Seriously. You see the dangers which lie outside our fortress, Adam. Its mighty walls are all that stand between us and destruction. You must remain within the Citadel. This is my order. Uh. You are my only surviving child, the heir to the throne of Mashar. Your duty is here in the Citadel of Mo with your people. Dad, I love you. The thanks, but how long do you think it's going to take him to get here? We're defenseless. We got walls. Big deal. They're big motherfucking dinosaurs. Yeah, tip. <laughs> Segway. <laughs> if you're new to my LPs, like I do in only LPs, I cuss. It's the way I LP. You know, it's the way I play. If you're sitting next to me, I would cuss too. Okay? I'm sorry. If you don't like it, don't watch it. Okay? If you don't want your kids to hear it, don't let them watch it. You know, be a good parent. Do your job. Never forget that your sister and your mother, my beloved Jelana, were murdered not more than one day's march from here. The same fate so must not befall you. You can kind of see how this is forming. He knows the danger, he knows what's going on, but he's so scared of losing his last piece of his only remaining family that he'd rather hide. Pretty powerful shit. I may visit you in your room later. That's creepy. I've been telling the king of my travels. You are... Okay. Thank you for being useless, Dad. Begging your pardon, my lords. I'm weary. May I take my leave? Perhaps I'll see you again before I leave Mo, Prince Adam. Shoe fly. <laughs> so here we can kind of see a history of what's going on in the city of uh, the world, basically. Morcus Rex, the Tyran destroyer of men and dinosaurs. The Tyran killed your mother and your sister Leonor when you were only a few months old. I realized then how foolish we were to dream of resistance. Yeah, he's lost his will to fight out of fear. Your grandfather, the enslaver, tore down the citadels. All of them, save Mo, our home. And all because his thirst for power knew no bounds. The architect's dream so, was trampled in the dust. Basically, we're getting a history lesson here. We're kind of going in reverse order. And you can kind of see the history of what's going on in the world and where you sit with it. It's not a big deal to understand, but you should understand it at least a little bit. And they do it a really good way here. I like this um, of doing it. Because as you can see, your grandfather isn't exactly the greatest and stuff. Uh, Mo has a very spotted history in its family. Your great grandfather, the architect, was a mighty builder. It is hard to believe that he built citadels like this one across the world. How he accomplished such wonders, we will never know. Okay, so now you're getting the picture here. Citadel Mo's last citadel, citadel in existence. The architect, which is your great grandfather, built the citadels uh, across the world. Your grandfather decided to say, fuck you, Dad, and destroy them all. Except for one, and enslaved dinosaurs. 
And then finally, your father is all that's left, fighting Morcus Rex, who's kind of come up from this, and is a coward. So, no pressure, kid! 